Hey YouTube, you know what's up? It's JPGFX here, uh, here to teach you how to make particle beams. You saw that in my other video, it's the video with the Scanline GB logo. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to make those uh, particle beams. This is what a particle beam is, right? Particle beam is this like little beam right there. Here's another example. That's just about around a weapon and uh, weapons. A lot of people put that in like the profile on the GB. Like a lot of people put like little beams around there and stuff. Um, I'll show you another one with the... Uh, around my uh, like font you guys seen it in the other video you guys should be familiar but if you don't feel like watching the other video uh, then here it is uh, right here all right this is the video I mean the signature uh, everybody asked me to make this signature it's really not that great of a signature I never really spent the time doing another signature but people like this beam uh, it's really popular in GB it's really popular everywhere actually um, Today I'm going to show you how to make it. It will. This video will be really quick. So let's go to Photoshop. Always, always, always have my size as 300 by 200 transparent. All right, that's how I always have it. You can have it whatever you want. For this video, I'm not going to make it, to make things blend in with backgrounds. That's what you use transparency for. That's what transparent does. So let's just make a signature real quick. Once this opens up, it's taking a little while. I do not know why. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make this uh, signature. Whoa, lag. Oh, it's because I'm downloading WoW again. All right, um, let's just make text real quick. Um, I'm gonna do, let's just do something simple. Let's just do my CGF Locus. This is one of my favorite fonts. Um, just letting you guys know, it's C. GF Locus, you can find that on defont.com. Put the link in my description. Just defont.com, I won't give you the exact link to CGF Locus. So I'm going to type in JPGFX. That's me. Alright. Um, do about, don't make it too big, but make it to the point where it's good size. Like that. It's about a good size. And I'll put it in the middle. Alright. Now I'll just mess with it. Just make it look good. Color overlay. I'm going to do like black. Be on a boss. Make it like so, it kind of glows. It drop shadow, outer glow. Let's make the outer glow like blue. I don't know. No, let's make it purple. All right, purple. And then that's that's just the font. All right, now here's the main part in this tutorial. First, we're gonna create a new layer once we have our font or whatever you're using. Create a new layer. This also works if you're putting it around a person or something. Create a new layer. Um, Make sure you select your pen tool, just pen tool, just this pen tool, and then on here, have these settings up here on the top, make sure it's this, paths, and pen tool, alright, and then you should be good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to go like this. Alright, and then we're going to right click, well you just mess with it, like just go like that, how I did it, and you're going to right click it, and then go, oh wait, no, okay, first before you right click, uh, let's go to uh, brush, go to brush, make sure, make sure it's a good size, make sure usually it's around 7 or 5, 7 or 5, okay, depending how big your letters are, alright, so I'm going to do 7, that was pretty good, 7, and then make sure your foreground color is white, depends what color you want the beam, the beam will be just whatever the color you want beam to be and the outer glow is like the main part so I always do mine white because it looks cool and then make sure you select a brush and then simulate pressure if you don't simulate pressure it'll look like this it'll just look like a little it won't fade away and if you do have simulate pressure it will like fade away it'll like be pointy like this I'll show you whoops that's what that's what without simulate pressure with simulate pressure it looks like whoops it looks like this with simulate pressure boom it looks like it fades away it's really cool um, outer glow and so you could see it see how it fades away like that uh, that's what simulate pressure does without simulate pressure it would just look like a little stick all right uh, okay now that we got that. Uh, all we had to do is just go to outer glow and change the color on that. That's about it. And make sure it's in front of your uh, letter. Alright, now we're going to zoom in. I'm just going to press fit screen. That's about what you need. 
go to eraser and then erase like every other part so it makes it look like it's going in out in out you guys are pervs all right um uh so it's gonna go out that way and it's gonna go underneath here then it's gonna go you know what i'm saying how i'm erasing like every other thing how it goes like under over all right um then i'm gonna go right here like the letter f or t's and stuff like that and like i's are a bitch to do all right gfx And that's a particle beam. That's all. That's it. That's how easy it was. See how easy that was? All right. Thanks for watching this. Subscribe. Send me messages on any requests on what you want to do. I know everything. I know every little thing in Photoshop. Well, not really, but I'm pretty good with it. So if you need to know anything else, subscribe, comment, message me on Xbox, Gmail. I'll send all that on my uh, description, and I'll send that website, defont.com, on there, too. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my vid.